all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching john wick chapter two now in the last movie john we learned that he's a straight assassin he has a very nice reputation behind him vigo's son losef thought it was a great idea to try and rob him steal his car and then kill his dog and no he hunted them all down and he killed them it was very satisfying to see he didn't kill vigo he let him live i'm guessing it's, it's an honor thing you know because technically vigo had nothing to do with this it was just his son and john got his revenge on his son vigo is just doing it because well john just killed his son so now that movie seems like a very solid standalone movie so i'm really curious to see what the conflict in the second movie is who pissed off john that's what i want to know who pissed him off again but anyways I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two John Wick movies will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Ooh. All right, just starting off in the middle of a firefight. I like it. Dude, RIP that stunt, man. Shit, <laughs> he ate that shit. That stunt right there is worth at least 100k. <laughs> hmm. This is credit card. He has the metal card. I don't know what that is. It was me. Almost. Oh, we're not getting the neon text anymore when they, when they speak Russian. Oh. My fucking nephew killed the dog. He stole a car, which currently is among our inventory. Oh, so John's coming back after his car. So we're giving everything up for a car? Yes. It's not just a car. It is John Wick's car. Oh. That's a big deal. He's coming back for it. Like, he literally just walked in. So why don't we just give it back? He killed my nephew. My brother. He didn't kill Vigo. Stabbed him in the neck and the collarbone, but didn't kill him unless he ended up dying on later off screen. Sorry, he's one man. <laughs> Why don't we just eliminate him? Oh, we think no one thought of that before. He once killed three men in a bar without a pencil. pencil. Oh, I know, I've heard the story. The fucking pencil. Who the fuck can do that? <laughs> That's him calling, huh? Utebia Maya Machina. Mm hmm. Oh, that's all he said. <laughs> Just let him take it. He's gonna dip. He's gonna dip. Just let him take it. Don't even stop him. Just let him go. So no one else has to die. But he'll probably take the car somewhere safe and then come back and kill us all. Just because he can. Well, there goes his car. <laughs> Bro, how many cars did they ruin for this movie? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Bro, this movie's way more brutal than the stunts they're doing. Break his arm. Bro, who is he fighting? GSP? I need to see a fight between Keanu Reeves and GSP, actually. <laughs> Shot his kneecaps out. Damn. But the GSP from the MCU, Captain America's op. Like, I need that. That would be such a sick fight. I do. Yeah, GSP would be such a great villain. Or not like villain, just like side henchman for John Wick. Oh. Hey, bestie. Hmm. Oh, what a gentleman. Mm. I shall stay the fence here. Eh, it's just a fender bender. See, just a fender bender. 
What an intro. That was a great intro. <laughs> Barely made it home. Oh, oh yeah, yep. The dog he got from the end of the last movie. Alright, this dog better not die, I swear to God. There's no way they do that back to back. John, what the hell? <laughs> I thought you loved this car. Yeah, he's the car guy from the last movie. <laughs> you think you can fix it? The drive shaft is all destroyed, and I don't know if you noticed, but you got a crack in your windshield. <laughs> I can fix this. Oh, okay, cool. You're gonna bury it all again because you want to put this behind you because... Wow, all right, yeah, you're re-cementing it all. Bro, you're just gonna break this open in like a week, okay? Oh yeah, that dude did wish him like happy retirement. So I guess he's retired again until someone else pisses him off or f***s him over. Can I help you? Charge him. No. Santino. No, I guess they're cool. Cafe? Grazie. Oh, they're speaking Italian. Nice. Grazie. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Please. No one gets out and comes back without repercussions. Take it back. A marker is no small thing, John. For a man to grant a marker to another is to bind a soul to a blood oath. Find someone else. What is this? Hmm? This is your blood. I helped you. If you don't do this, you know the consequences. I'm not that guy anymore. You're always that guy, mm. John. Okay, so this guy needs him to come out of retirement to help him out with something, because mm. John technically has to do it, because he gave this blood oath. If he doesn't, there's consequences, so... Right, he can. I'll see you soon, John. Wanna see him? Jesus, she's mean, Mugging. Alright, this is gonna be our ops, I guess, because John doesn't want to do it. And that's the conflict. <laughs> oh shit. Oh yeah, he's gonna try and kill John. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. But this is the consequence. <laughs> yeah, that's why he said beautiful home, because he knew he was gonna destroy it. Well, you just pissed off John, so... <laughs> Oh no, the dog! The dog's fine, the dog's fine. The dog could have easily have died just then. Oh. Well, good evening, John. Oh, is this is Jimmy? Gas leak? Yeah. Yeah, gas leak. <laughs> Come on, boy. Bro, how long has it been since the last- Oh, actually, no, the dog- He got the dog when it was a puppy, so- And this dog's like fully grown now, so it's been like a year, maybe. Maybe a couple months, around there. There better not be a no dog policy. Nah, th this dude's cool. He's gonna be like, all right, it's, it's good. Where is he? He burned my house down. You rejected his marker. What the hell were you thinking, giving a marker to a man like Santino D'Antonio? Two rules that cannot be broken, Jonathan. No blood on continental grounds, and every marker must be honored. You dishonor the marker, you die. You kill the hold of the marker, you die. You run, you die. This is what you agreed to, Jonathan. Do what the man asks. Be free. Rules. Are meant to be broken. Without them, we live with the animals. Hmm. <laughs> it's the soup. I like how we're in a different country for this one. It's a good way to mix it up. And here I'd heard. You had retired. Grazie. Enjoy your stay. Is it just me, or does Keanu Reeves just like doesn't really talk? Like I feel like a lot of his lines in the last movie and then this one so far, they've all just been like one to two sentences. Like the other characters are talking way more than he is. He's only saying like a couple words when he does speak. 
silicone. Oh, bulletproof suit. Make matrices, mm -hmm. company laminate, cutting edge body armor. We just quite painful, I'm afraid. Oh yeah, I'm sure that hurts like a bit. As long as it doesn't like wound him though. An Italian classic. Dessert. <laughs> Dessert. Do enjoy your party. I will. Mm. Mr. Antonio, you can't just take what is right for Nothing. you. Nothing. Like. Oh, this dude was in uh, Guardians. He was a villain. He was really good on that. What is yours is now ours, Mr. Arconi. Enjoy the party. He's like this bitch. He, does, he can't do anything, so he just has to take it. Watch John just be in the bathtub. He's already under the water, just waiting. <laughs> Oh. John. Jonah. We go and we child considered us as friends. I still do. This isn't personal. What brought you back, John? Your brother. Are you going to tell her? A marker. Held by? Your brother. Oh. I mean, she's got to try. Oh. That's very sharp. Oh, she's just gonna do it herself. Ah. Why? What, so John doesn't get the credit for it? Yeah. I lived my life my way. And I'll die my way. Mm-hmm. All right, I mean, job's still done. I always thought I could escape it. He's just gonna shoot her in the head. Oh, uh, he's like, yeah, pushing the blood out. Damn. That was a good scene. That was a really good scene. Can I see him? You working? <laughs> no. Yeah. You? Yeah. <laughs> this is awkward. Good night. Wait, so. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, he definitely got John, but John has a suit that can absorb the bullet. Ooh. What if that was a civilian? <laughs> It'd be so hard to tell in this crowd, but... John, that's why John's a professional. God damn! The combat, oh my god, it's so good! Yeah, get to your stash of guns. Hey, he said it would hurt. He didn't lie to you about that. Loose ends. <laughs> yep. Damn, really have him in a side triangle right now? A Yoku Shinkaku? Oh my god. <laughs> Just throw it at him. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh reload, 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 yeah, <laughs> Dude, I can't get over how brutal this gun is. Dude, I love close range gun fighting in this movie and the last one. Dude, it's, it's so good. It's executed so well. You're not having a good night, are you, John? I'm still alive, so it's going pretty good. Bro, that slide. <laughs> Shout out to the stuntman again. Dude, how many takes do you think that took? How many times do you think the stuntman fell down the stairs? Ooh. Oh, you fucking landed in an arm bar? What the f- Ah. Oh, oh, damn, six, nine. Dude, oh my god, this is great. That spin was clean. Ooh. The jujitsu in this is nice. A lot of judo throws, too. Dude, this guy's literally his equal. Gentlemen. Oh, oh, it's Julius. 
Gentlemen. It's, it's, it's dad being like, stop. The boys need to stop fighting. Do I need to remind you that there will be no business conducted on the continental grounds? May I suggest a visit to the bar? That's a great idea. We could talk this out. <laughs> Grazie. Grazie mille. I had a marker. Whose? Her brother. I see. You had no choice. Exactly. I could have said this earlier if we didn't start fighting right away. <laughs> so you're free. Am I? No. No. Yeah. Never will be. I'll make it quick. I promise. I appreciate that. Mm hmm I'll try and do the same. Yeah. Promises a quick death. Consider it a professional courtesy. <laughs> I think they just became besties. Hello, John. I understand if you're upset, but what kind of man would I be if I didn't avenge my sister's murder? Mm, all right, buddy. John. I'm coming for you now. So that's why the girl's following him. So she was supposed to avenge his sister's death. Just crossed us like that. We're coming after him now. He has to die. I'd like to open an account. Name on the account? John Wick. Oh, yeah, I'm swinging contract on him. Seven million. Damn. He knows he's coming after him. It's only a matter of time. It was one thing to burn his f house down to get him to do this. But then it's it's another thing to send someone after him after he does the job for you because, you know, you have to avenge your shit. Like, whatever, dude. You're the biggest snake ever. <sighs> oh, I have everyone in New York here. What is this? He completed the task. The marker is over. Mm-hmm. I like this guy. Mark it. Yeah, mark it, motherfucker. You have no idea what's coming to you. I have everyone in New York looking for him. It's not enough. You stabbed the devil in the back <laughs> and forced him back into the life that he had just left. You incinerated the priest's temple. He had a glimpse of the other side mm -hmm. and he embraced it. But you, you should have left him there. He just woke up the sleeping giant. That's what he did. I had every right. And now he's coming again. Yeah, but you shouldn't have placed a hit on him after he did the job for you. Like, that's where you crossed the line. He probably would have just left you alone if you never did that. Oh. There he is. Damn, this was a tank. Damn, dude, this is one solid ass bulletproof shirt, suit, whatever. But yeah, that deep, that got him pretty bad. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Was that a pencil? Uh, oh. Right in the ear. Oh. Shit. Well, that's two more killed with a pencil. Mm, what's up, bestie? <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> They're both just in, in public. <laughs> oh, raw! Why'd you cut his nutsack off? What's up? <laughs> The intense stairs. I see, yeah, as soon as everyone gets off, they're just about to start fading. He got him first. Um. Bro, he's Judah throwing this dude like fucking six times now. Oh. Mm, he got him. I don't know why, but for some reason, I was kind of rooting for him. I liked him. The plate is in your aorta. You pull it out, you will bleed, and you will die. Consider this a professional courtesy. One time. Tell him it's John Wick. Damn, yeah, he needs help immediately. Aw, oh, cute dog. Hey, man, you gotta call it up. Well, I guess this homeless guy was an assassin too, but he's helping John now. He's all passed up. 
Wow. That's actually really crazy. The man. The myth. The, the matrix. Mr. Wick doesn't remember, but we met many years ago. <laughs> Before my ascension. When I was just a pawn in the game. <laughs> so many references, I feel like. You gave me this. Gift from the boogeyman. But you also gave me a choice. Mm. All seeing. All knowing. <laughs> I'm thinking you can find Santino. Oh, he's like the leader of the homeless people. Yeah. Why the fuck would I do that? Because <laughs> I'll kill you if you don't. We'll just have to take care of ourselves. Good luck. Yeah. For how long? And how much blood? That's why you need me. Santino, the Camorra, and the High Table come for you. I kill Santino. They come for me. Exactly. Seven million dollars is a lot of money, Mr. Wick. You want a war? Or do you want to just give me a gun? <laughs> yeah, it's that simple. Somebody please get this man a gun. Mm. Seven rounds. Yeah, I figure that's not seven a, million not a dollars lot. gets you seven rounds. Uh it's right there. <laughs> Season. Yeah, now he's out of bullets. See that that's stupid. That was only seven rounds. What's John's kill count up at this point? 80? I'd be really curious to know his exact kill count by the end of the fourth movie. I'm sure it's somewhere online. <laughs> oh, he's in like, what is this, a big mirror maze? The mark is complete, John. You know what a Kamara will do to you. You know what I'll do to them? I think you're addicted to it. To the vengeance. He can't escape this life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He accidentally just shot the mirror and then he's like, oh, nope. And then he realized right away where he was. Hmm. Damn. Oh, triangle. I like the way John finishes submissions. He'll get like he's got like so far he's got an arm bar and he's got a triangle and he just shoots him in the face. <laughs> That's how he finishes submission. I mean, no, they're great positions to hold somebody still while you shoot them, so. Oh, shit. Dude, that's his go to move. It's the goddamn judo throw, the shoulder throw. I mean, he's good at it, but. Right through her hand. Oh. Right in your aorta. If you pull it out, you die. That would be pulled it out. She dead. No? Be seeing No, you the fuck won't. Sure. Sure. Ah, you should have shot her. Make sure she's dead. She'll be back in the third movie, I guess. Santino, look, he looks like Iraq. He's the manager in. Uh, he can't. He can't kill him when he's here now. Oh, that's such a cheat code. Oh my god! Can't use it like this. That's stupid. I want his membership revoked now. Then you know that I have the right to demand of nothing. You <laughs> demand nothing of me, Mr. D'Antonio. This kingdom is mine and mine alone. Mm -hmm. Stand up to him. I love it. Then enjoy your kingdom, Winston, where you'll still can. And you, it's privileges. Sure. Call it off for you. I wanted to, but you wouldn't do that. Watch, John's gonna kill him anyway, and they're just not gonna care. Lot of options. Jonathan, listen to me. A man can stay here mm. a long time and never eat the same meal twice. Jonathan, just walk away. Yeah, Jonathan. Walk away. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you see, he did it anyway. 
God damn. What have you done? Ah, oh, you just violate so many rules though. Shit. Finished it. Technically now he has to kill him, right? Because he violated, but he's gonna let it slide. How was he? Oh the dog yeah, the dog. He was Sorry. a good dog. I Aww. have enjoyed his company. Oh, <laughs> I love to see it. Let's go home. Well, the contract's a lot on you. Like he said, killing him isn't going to end the contract. And you just killed him in the hotel. Like, you're so fucked. Oh, yeah, wait, what home do you have, dog? Your home is burnt down. Mr. Wick. Hey. You here to kill him? If you would be so inclined. Dude, this is a really well-trained dog. <laughs> I've been thinking about that the entire movie, <laughs> like, for all the scenes the dog's been in. The Camaro's double Santino's open contract has gone international. You killed a man on company grounds, Jonathan. You leave me no choice but to declare you excommunicado. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that's valid. Doors to any service or provider in connection with the Continental are now closed to you. At least he's not going to kill him for doing it. Because they killed the girl in the last movie for doing it, so... At worst, he's just going to excommunicate him, so, okay, I, he can deal with that. You have one hour. Can't delay it any longer. <sighs> he's doing as much as he can. Tell them, whoever comes, whoever it is, I'll kill them. <laughs> Good luck. All right, well, Winston did as much as he can right there, so I respect it. Bought him an hour. Excommunicado. Uh, you could tell that hurt for him to say like he didn't want to he doesn't want to do this he just he just has to because it's the code but you could tell that definitely hurt him to do damn he can't trust anyone everyone is gonna try and get him he just has to assume everyone's after him all right well that was john wick 2 all right that was john wick chapter two i thought this was a pretty solid sequel first movie obviously they went down a different storyline first one's more of a one and done thing with him getting revenge on yosef and vigo for the dog but obviously the first movie was very successful so they decided to create this new storyline with santino with santino betraying john having john being forced to do this mission for santino then santino betraying him and trying to have him assassinated and everything and then now john's against the high table and the high table wants to kill john they have a fat bounty on his head and i'm guessing the two movies are going to be about him trying to avoid and get away from the high table so i thought the action in this movie was pretty solid it might have been better than the first movie to be honest it might have been to do like the storyline better in the first movie though it feels a lot more personal but you can't just do that over and over again so i like where the story is going now but yeah that was john wick chapter two comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments and if you liked the video like the video and thanks for watching